What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today I have some pickled herring here. I think I'm gonna make some pickled herring sushi. Check out how I caught these guys first. I'll roll on that right now. So we just got a call from Heather to come down right now because the herring are starting to spawn. And this happens every year, but last year we missed it. We went out several times, but we missed it every time. But uh, so Heather just got some, a nice cooler full. So we came right out. Uh, and we're gonna take her little skiff out and try to go net some herring. Here we go, here we go, we're gonna go get these herring. Yeah, birds are diving right over there. Every year, thousands and thousands of birds show up into the San Francisco Bay and search for the same exact thing that I'm looking for, and that is the herring. The herring gather inside the bay in great numbers and spawn along the shoreline and in shallow water where there is seaweed for them to lay their eggs on. The birds feed on the spawning herring and fishermen throw their cast nets. There's no telling exactly when or where the herring will spawn so you just have to keep your eyes on the water in hopes that you'll be ready when they do. At the right place, at the right time, it can happen. That pancake! Nice. That's what they call a pancake. Sinks pretty slow though. Nothing in there. Things heavier. Got one. Got a few. Nice. Yay. Got a few. Hey, Blair. Get them in the little bucket. Nice, check them out. That's a herring. Nice. They come inside the bay every year to spawn. So that's what they're doing right now. This time of year they're spawning, they're laying eggs. Oh, I got a couple more. Nice. Look at the bottom. Oh, nice. Now I'm letting this drop all the way down. Oh. Those are the herring eggs right there. So right underneath us, there must be some seaweed that they're laying their eggs on. There it is, that's the throw. That's the throw right there. Yeah, there's, there's some in there. Woo! Oh, yeah! Nice. That's a good one. So the way I throw it, I grab like a third of the weight onto my left hand and I flip it over onto my right hand and I take this kind of skirt portion and I just grab it like that and do like a side cast. I want to go that way. Birds are diving. Jesus, yeah, we need to go. Yeah, let's go over there. It's getting crazy over there. Oh, 
look at how milky this water is. You can literally tell that there's like white stuff in the in the water. You see, you're right over them right there, Nick. Yeah, I, that was crazy. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> Relax, man. We got our we got time. We got time. Yeah, we do. As you can see, this is possible from shore too. Uh, but we were looking from for them on the boat. But look at everybody's up from shore. They're casting and they're gonna get them too. You need a man. Yeah. Nice. I get it. Awesome. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, you can't bring it over. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This is insane! Oh yeah! Yeah, look at that! Herring spawn, baby! Herring spawn! Thanks, Taco! Yeah, yeah! Oh yeah, bro! I'm gonna keep it in here. Are you gonna throw the other one? I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I think we are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we got him, guys. We got him. Hell yeah. Good start to the year. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Well, guys, thanks to Heather, we were able to get some. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Good Big job, one. Sawyer. That's a pretty fish. Yeah. It's That's blue so and green. Every year, Heather throws this herring festival in Sausalito. Uh, can you say? Yeah, it's something? a benefit for the Sausalito Community Boating Center, which isn't open yet, but we're hoping to open in 2021. Um, we've built this beautiful center here in Sausalito, and we'll be eventually teaching family fishing lessons, and sailing, and rowing, and uh, getting kids out on the water. <laughs> yeah, we'll eat those. <laughs> and uh, so every year we throw a herring festival to celebrate the beautiful ecosystem here and to just talk about sustainability and kind of bring people's attention to these small fish that you might not normally um, think are important, but they're actually super important to the entire ecosystem. Yeah, and when is it? January 27th. It's yeah. online this year, so anyone can join from anywhere in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there and we're going to have cooking demonstrations and um, lots of fun Stuff. And I'll be in it as well. <laughs> so January 27th, check it out guys online. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, thanks Heather. You're welcome. Take it easy. These are going to be the herring that I'm going to process and pickle and the rest I'm going to leave for bait and to eat later. First, I'm going to start off by scaling all of the herring. Then I'm going to cut the belly open and as well as cut the head off and when you take the guts out you can tell whether the herring is a male or a female in this case this one is a male you can tell because these are the sperm sacs from the herring and I'm actually gonna save these herring heads to use for bait for crabs later then I'm just gonna clean out the gut cavity rinse out the blood and we'll do that with all of them these herring can and do have parasites and they mostly reside in the gut, so make sure to gut them right away. If you're going to pickle them, you can be 100% safe by following these guidelines from the FDA as the vinegar does not kill the parasites. Ah, and this one is a female. You can tell because these are the eggs. It looks like this, she's already spawned out most of the eggs though. It's a bit late tonight, so I'm not sure to fillet all of them tomorrow. But let me show you how I package them to keep them fresh. Stuff all the gut cavities with paper towels to keep the blood from running. I put a paper towel on the bottom and on top, wrap with parchment paper, and wrap with saran wrap. And that's it. And you can pretty much use this technique for all your fish. When I put it away in the fridge, I also keep an ice pack on each of them as well.
still fresh. And I'm going to start by removing these bottom fins right here that you see. Just by using these tweezers here. Bone picking tweezers. I'm just going to do that to all of them. Now let's fillet. They're really easy to fillet. I like to cut them one time down the back and then just insert my knife so it cuts the, the rib cage and just slice all the way down. And flip. I like to do a little score on one side on the bottom and flip it to the top. Do the same kind of thing. Run my knife one time, stick it all the way in, run through the rib cage. Bam. That's it. Pretty simple. So for the pickling ingredients, some peppercorn, some bay leaves, a small piece of cinnamon stick, a couple jars, and some vinegar. And uh, in this case, I'm actually going to use the vinegar from my recently pickled red onion. I'll leave the recipe for this pickled red onion in the description below. Really easy to make. So first, I'm going to add a whole cup of that pickling juice from the red onion straight to this pot. And add a cup of water as well and maybe about a cup and a half or two cups roughly and I'm gonna add a little bit of the distilled vinegar too just to keep it just give it a little more of that acidic flavor give it a taste and I think it needs a little bit more of the pickling juice so I'm gonna add a little bit of that everything is to taste 
mix with your fingers as uh, shown here that's the best technique there's already salt and sugar in the pickling juice so we don't really need any of that uh, but we're gonna add the bay leaves the peppercorn and the cinnamon sticks and we'll slowly bring it to a light simmer that's all it doesn't need to be boiling hot okay now in the jar I'm gonna roll up these herring like a uh, like a cinnamon roll I guess yeah it looks like a cinnamon roll huh just plop that in the jar and we'll put uh, multiple layers of the herring and I'm gonna put some of the red onion in there as well because that's gonna be good flavor and make sure that the pickling juice that you just created is uh, it's cooled down it's room temperature so it's not gonna cook the fish uh, with the heat And then just jar them up, leave them in the fridge, and they'll be good for at least a couple months. Now we're going to go create some dishes with this pickled herring. And now that you've seen how I got them and how I processed them and filleted them and pickled them, I want to make some herring sushi with these. These have been uh, in this vinegar for uh, over 24 hours, so they're very nice and pickled. Yeah, you can definitely see that, you know, it's a little pink. It's the skin side. Not so much, didn't take any color. I actually really wanted it to be like a vibrant purple, but that didn't exactly work out, but uh, still pretty cool. Has that little pink, pink color to it. Anyways, we're gonna actually make two different dishes. I'm gonna make some sushi, and I'm also just gonna prepare it on some, on a baguette, on a little piece of baguette with uh, some toppings on it as well. And I think it's gonna be good, man. So I'm gonna do some katsuramuki on this cucumber. go now you don't have to do this you can just cut it into you know regular batons however you like to do it but this is the sushi chef way it's called katsuramuki so I just stack them together and we'll slice nice and crunchy baguette this will be for the other dish, not, not the sushi. There we go. Every year there's a spectacle of birds that come in and migrate to the bay just for herring and you'll see them dive bombing into the water and just getting a mouthful of herring uh, each time they dive. And that's, that's the, herring, the herring run, the herring spawn, you know? And, um, You'll see a bunch of people too out there with their cast nets just like I did harvesting herring and it, this happens every year in the bay. So it's a very cool little thing that happens and even though so many of them get eaten and caught you know by us or by other animals, sea lions, birds, fish, um, these herring are so so hardy like they lay so many eggs and they can spawn so quickly that every year there's still enough for the generation after, for the next year, for the year after that. So they're very sustainable fish and really healthy fish too. Really healthy for you to eat. I, uh, I pickled a bunch myself, but I also saved a bunch for bait as well because I'm going to be fishing uh, later in the year. And all right, let me, yeah, let me create the sushi. Let me kind of picture how I'm going to do it. All right, I think I got an idea. I'm going to score the skin of the herring. So the herring still has skin on it, but Honestly, you can't even tell it's there. So you can eat it, it's completely fine. Oh yeah, that's gonna look beautiful. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna look good on some sushi. Okay, with this little guy, I wanna slice it thinly so to get this clean cut you just cut here and then right at the end cut straight down and make that nice edge and it's gonna look real pretty I'm just gonna chop these onions 
with the pickled onions that were in there. Got my sushi rice. Gonna take a handful of sushi rice. So I'm not gonna put anything on there. Just gonna flip it. And we're just gonna put cucumber in the middle. That's gonna give a nice crunch, nice texture. And we're just gonna fold that over, roll that up. I'm gonna put one herring here and another herring here. I'm gonna put a little plastic wrap on top. Use the plastic wrap, dude. I'm kind of mainly using it so it, that the uh, herring doesn't come off the top when I cut it. Top it with a little bit of the pickled red onion. We'll put a little piece of dill on each. All right, there it is, guys. There's the pickled herring sushi. Uh, let's work on our second dish. Little pesto right in the middle. Let me just plate this on here. Pickled herring platter. Here's my pickled herring platter. Just some pickled herring sushi and pickled herring on a baguette. Mm. Let's crack the spear open first. Ah, we're drinking beer bottle today. It's been a while. Oh, look out. All right. Now they're Come gonna by. live next to it. Oh, you made eye contact. Yes. Did it. All right, I'm going with the sushi first. That's Have you ever, you never tried pickled herring? Uh, no. I don't think so, huh? I haven't even tried the bad one. The, the bad one? Throw. The surf strumming? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the Swedish. That's like the fermented herring, which is awful. <laughs> pickled herring is good. You like the onion, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> oh, the whole pickle flavor. Yeah, the pickle, the, yeah, the herring takes on a lot of that pickle flavor. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's pretty um, um, pickly, vinegary, you know, mm -hmm. Ac acidic. Uh, it's really good. First time I had pickled herring was in Amsterdam. I had it in Amsterdam and I was with some Dutch friends late night and it's like a food truck and it's, they had pickled, Pickled herring. <laughs> food truck yeah. with pickled herring. Yeah, that's what they serve there. That's like their street food in Amsterdam. Pickled herring. And my Dutch friends thought I wasn't gonna like it. I was like, oh yeah, I'll try. And I got it and I was like, whoa, this is good, man. I was I was also how do you say not sober? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was really good. I love that. That's the first time I had pickled herring. And it was a good memory. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Like that one? Mm hmm. Like a toast? With the pesto? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Let me try. Let me try the bread. Yeah, with the pesto. Ooh. That's why it's better, huh? With the pesto, it's bomb. Yeah. It does go perfectly. It's a perfect combination. The bread's baked fresh today. Make yeah, it and today. yeah, it helps that the baguette is awesome. Mm. Herring is very healthy as well as sustainable because even though they get hit so hard every year, you know, by fish, by birds, uh, by people, they can keep reproducing every single year. 
and they come into the bay to spawn all the time and some of you might be saying it's gross to eat fish from the bay because the bay is polluted but these herring don't live in the bay so don't get confused with that they're just in there just to spawn so that's the difference about fish that live in the bay and then fish that just come into this into the bay just they're just there for days you know days or a couple weeks and that's it they're not gonna pick up any um, biotoxins or any mercury uh, from being in the bay that short of time and yeah so they're really healthy still to eat and they're fun they're really fun to harvest mm -hmm. throwing those cast nets it's so fun uh, we, once you find them it's so it's rewarding it's a good time uh, yeah. it's we fun were, to watch you throw yeah we were having a good time out there you want this one sure go for it I like the sushi. their eggs are good too Oh yeah, herring eggs. Yeah, yeah they're, like I don't they're like, really good. I don't like salmon roe, but their herring eggs are good. Herring eggs are good. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more herring content. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. And soon we'll have a van update. Woo! Mm-hmm.